Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Wong. This program is brought to you by Ding Ding TV, Civic Leadership USA, and supported by APAPA and 8020 National Asian American PAC. In this series of videos, I'd like to talk about the status of Asian American, who we are, and what are some of the issues and challenges facing our community. Today, I want to talk about three subjects. Who are Asian American? How did we get here? Immigration history, in other words, and what, why did, where did the term Asian American came from? Uh, as you look at the slide, you can see a lot of Asian American, and uh, if you read the view graphs, um, in the 1980 immigration census, they classify us into East Asian, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and so on, South Asians, Indian, Pakistani, Sri Lanka, uh, and Southeast Asians, Filipino, Vietnamese, Indonesian. On top of that, we're Pacific Islander, which normally refer to people from Samoa, Fiji, Guam, and the U.S. territories in the Pacifics. As you can see, we have different languages, different culture, different ethnicity, and maybe even different race. Okay, so we're very diverse. How did we get here? Well, the, one of the biggest immigration group is the Chinese. They came here in 1849 to look for gold because there was a gold rush in San Francisco in the Sierras. Well, they did not find gold, but they wound up being workers on the Transcontinental Railroad. And this year, in May, we're celebrating the finish of the con con completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in Utah in May this year, so it was a big celebration. In spite of all this contribution, they, they must call us Yellow Peril, and then they have a Chinese Exclusion Act in, 19, in 1882. And the Japanese was in part because they don't want any more Chinese to come here. The Filipino came in in several ways. First of all, they work in the sugar plantations in Hawaii, and that's nation, U.S. national because they, at one time they were uh, under the uh, USA territory, and also at the armed forces in World War II fighting the Japanese. So they came in here as U.S. nationals. Now, in the 50s, late 50s and early 60s, there was a lot of civil un unrest led by Martin Luther King and the African Americans. As a result, they passed the Immigration and Nationalization Act of 1980. 1985. It's also called the Hart Seller Act. And up to now, only Europeans were allowed to immigrate in this country because of the Hart Seller Act. Uh, new immigrants are uh, judged on the skills, the family ties, and also because we fought big wars in Korea and uh, Vietnamese, we were able to bring in some, in, some of the refugees from those wars. Prior to 1965, there were less than one million Asian American in this country. Now, there are over 22 million Asian Americans. So you can see we have a big, big uh, influx of Asian Americans since 1965. Okay, where did the term Asian American come from? Uh, America has always been Eurocentric. In other words, uh, the European, they know how to handle them, but everyone from the East, they call us Oriental. That includes people from Afghanistan, all the other stands, and so on. Uh, they, they call us by Chinese, Japanese, Filipino nationality. We did not support each other. For instance, the Japanese, when they were interned in the Second World War, the Chinese people wear signs saying, I'm not Japanese. So, we did not cooperate with each other. In 1969, a gentleman in UC Berkeley called Yuji Ishioka and a lady named Emma G. they founded the Asian American Political Alliance, and also in San Francisco State. A Filipino person named Ronald Kodachi, they founded, coined this name, Asian American, uh, in 1968. So it's just over 50 years old, this term Asian American. And in, for the first time in 19, 
80, Asian American was one of the category that U.S. Census Bureau uh, uh, identify us as. So, you see, because of the uh, different ethnicity, different background, we all group together. So we have to support each other. We have to work together with each other. Thank you. It's, it's shorter.